Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. How are we doing? Things are strange and stuff, and I don't really know why, but apparently they are. Hmm. Oh, well. How's it going? There we go. Oh, weird. Things are on when they shouldn't be. They're off when they should be, and I don't really know why, because it's not how I left it last night. Computer's being weird. Computer's being weird. I think it's got a mind of its own. There. <sighs> Oh well, what can we do? Anyway, happy Wednesday everybody. Hope we're all doing well. Hope the week's going well. We're doing something a bit different today. I'll say a bit different. It's kind of different. It's kind of not different. It's still survival stuff, which is, you know, same kind of uh, ballpark we're in. Uh, but it's car based. This is a car apparently. So that's cool. Yeah, Pacific Drive. Looking forward to this. Uh, I've had my eye on this game since announcements came out uh, last summer, I think. I think that was about when I saw them. Well, really cool, really interesting, bit different and unique, and uh, fun. And I've seen more and more bits of footage and stuff, and uh, I'm familiar with the first half an hour or so of the game, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so, yeah, definitely uh, looks very, very cool. Looking forward to trying something a bit different. So, yeah, it's a kind of roguelite sort of survival game based, uh, that's based around sort of making runs rather than just continual exploring, which actually is kind of not that dissimilar from the survival type thing. But instead of building up a base, you are building up a car instead. So, uh, yeah, that should be cool. No, this computer is definitely not Skynet, honey. It's uh, nowhere near as um, capable of doing what it's supposed to do as Skynet. Then it did what it was supposed to do. Problem was, it just had its own ideas. You know, it functioned properly. <laughs> anyway, so yes, um, massive thank yous to Ironwood Studios for kindly providing a key for this one. I do very much appreciate. As always, though, we're going to do our own thing. So yeah, there's your little disclosure observation. As always, more details around and about if you want to check them about. Yeah, um, I'm going to have a crack at this with a controller's day, which we don't do often. Um, we'll see if that works out. The game does support controllers. It's um, on PlayStation and PC at the moment, by the way, this one. Um, we're going to find out whether or not I support controllers, because, uh, you know, I may not be controller enabled. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, I have a slightly short cable for it, so that's the whole thing. Um, and... Uh, stuff i was debating whether or not i unplug my keyboard and use that to plug the controller in but i was like yeah i might need the keyboard at some point you know it tends to be handy like that so yeah i'm gonna give this a go um shall we rock and roll i've turned my wrist rest around so that it can work with the controller um let's plug the controller in now before i um start clicking things and then it knows it's there and stuff hopefully that's the theory anyway isn't it get dusty things <laughs> this thing gets used for recording tours, and that's about it, usually. Right, well, we have glowy lights and things. Um, where are we? There we are. This should be cool. Yeah, we're set up in uh, the Olympic Peninsula, up in, um, yeah, north that way, northwest um, USA. And with the idea being that there's an exclusion zone set up there, a bit like um, the one around Chernobyl, only for different reasons, because uh, stuff is going all wibbly-wobbly. And yeah, should be cool. Uh, it should work, he says. Um, any minute now, for right now we've just got uh, logos and stuff. I've got sound. Apparently so do you. Why are we not getting... There we go. It's just having a minute. It's, it's taking a minute. Okay, that's fine. Right. 
everything is slightly awkward today. Anyway, hope you're doing well, Jarrah. Hope you're doing well, Tengu. Hope you're doing well, Courtney. Ah, let's uh, let's see how this goes. So yeah, a um, little bit of stalker, a little bit of survival, all centered around the car. We all know that my uh, driving skills are impeccable and second to none. So yeah. Um, apparently something is wibbly wobbly awkwardness because of course it is life is cruel and unfair. Um, dropped a few frames, but it should be functioning again now. So we'll give things a go. It's ignoring the controllers. So I guess we're going to have to use the mouse first. Bye. There we go. Now it's acknowledging the controller. That's fine. Uh, would you like to customize your settings? I've already done a bit of that, so we'll see how we do. Give this a go. Ooh, my uh, batteries are apparently not doing great from the look of that. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Take us up to the 80s. What happened inside was never disclosed. Dun dun. Well, this game, I believe, is set in the 90s. I s we'll see the ifs and the whys and stuff, but I think it's designed to explain why we're driving a station wagon, kind of. But, uh, you know, it's all cool. Looking forward to this. Been looking forward to this for a while. I'm excited. Um, I think still looks solid down there. So we've got a shipping manifest and stuff, and a little map saying follow the road. Not shockingly, there is a streamer mode on, so hopefully everything should be fine there. I'm just going to opt tab out a second, make sure everything is fine. Should be. I feel like the music might be a little loud. Uh, let's see what we can do on that. Music's, um, I feel like the, ah, there we are, radio music volume. Let's take that down a bit. Still room to bring that down a tiny little bit further, I think. Let's do that. Um, this is an intro sequence, so we'll see how that goes. And this is probably a sensible time for me to change that battery up before we get stuck too far in, because there's a bit of flushing light over there. So, uh, yeah, let's not have to try and do that at uh, an inconvenient moment and, you know, cope with no sound when I really, really want something. Yeah. Right. Bit of an early start today, by the way, as you may have noticed. Um, reasoning is um, I'm not 100% sure how much time we'll have to commit to this game, and I definitely want to make a good go of it. So, yeah, that plus a little excitement, and we'll see how this goes. Everything feels weird. Is that one backwards? No, it's the right way around. Now I'm thinking about it, and everything's weird. Oh, well. Right then. So, right trigger to accelerate, left trigger to brake. Okay, that's not quite what I was anticipating, but we'll see how we do. Dear. Steering is not massively sensitive on the controller. Let's see how we do. How's the sound? Looks alright over there. Certainly looks like the Olympic Peninsula, all right. We roll in. I don't believe there's too many pedestrians in this game, so I think my driving shouldn't be too much of a problem. Toggle wipers, okay. We'll see whether or not we can drive without excessive crashing. I feel like my seat's a little far forward. 
Might actually try and uh, see if there's anything we can do about that. An accessibility thing? Or is that gameplay? Gameplay. Car FOV. That's a little bit better. Games always struggle a little bit with internal car positions because yeah, you got that massive bar in the front there. It feels like uh, you know we're normally I'm okay with smaller FOVs. This does get a little bit more restrictive and weird. That's a little bit better. Ooh, thank you, eyes on the road, eh? Although that make uh, operating parts of the car difficult. I'll slow it down very rapidly when I take my foot off the gas without even touching the brake, which is interesting. See what I mean? No braking there. Oh, first crash. <laughs> Rain drumming on the rooftop there. Headlights on the go. Fairly chilled start so far. Pick up speed as we go downhill now. Quite cool. Yep, radio's having issues. High RL levels, extreme caution, something like that. Basically, not an area you want to spend much time in. Launch construction facility ahead. Periodic uh, volume warning. 80 plus decibels every 15 minutes. And things looking a little bit sealed off there. The map did tell us that we needed to um, go left suddenly. Not even any writing on that warning sign. Everything working okay over there, folks, because there's weird alarms that don't make any sense showing up on OBS, and I think it might be lying to me. I think I can probably turn my wipers off now, can't I? Yeah. Stuff floating and weirdness occurring. A big ass wall right there, and a big scary fence. Stuff's disappearing. Doesn't seem to be going uh, really safely. It's like something's clearing the way for us, which is not creepy at all. even less good. Oh shit. Travelling. Not the direction I wanted to. Hmm. Okay, I think we're alright then. Well, shit. The Olympic exclusion zone. Get to safety. Let's say, looks rather like we just came through that big ass wall there. There's floating bits of car. I feel like that look thing is way... That needs to be reduced. That's not going to work. 
Um, video. Controls, probably, I guess. Um, control sensitivity vertical. Let's take that down here. And there's the horizontal. Let's try that. That's a little bit better. Yeah, we'll see how that does. There might have been an engine at one point. Waiting doors and... Ooh, there's some worrying noises. They, uh... Green goop wasn't alarming enough. What the? Well, I think that's a headlight. Well, yeah, maybe a little, bit, a little bit too low there. Yeah, that's a bit better. There's scary noises coming from over there. Caution. I don't say. Eat crouch. Hmm. I feel like the visual fidelity here might not be at its best. Though I do also feel like it gets better elsewhere, so this particular crevice is just iffy. Positional audio over that direction. Francis, the radar's acting up again. He was supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Well, hello, what have we here? New transportation. And we got ourselves a station wagon. So it looks like it may have seen better days. It's missing a wheel. I need to put back on. Did see? Yeah, I thought it's all well. Well, stall tire. Hey, I need it with that easy IRL. Right, guess we hop in then. New car. Okay, this feels very different to the last car. So we're somewhere in sector E, they're in somewhere mid zone B. Interferometer. I wonder what an interferometer. Whoa, hello. Listing to the right a little bit here. Oh, this car is struggling. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? Car's no, not doing as well as the last one, did it? It's a bit all over the place. No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, if you're in serious danger, the instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Oh, fun. The shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Oh, great. I'm out of fuel. So it would seem fuel can't in the trunk. Big glowy thing. It appears to be glued with some kind of gunk to the window. 
Siphon fuel from the broken down car. The only car I see, and I'd say it's a bit more than just broken down. I'd say it's barely even a husk anymore. I don't qualify as a car. This price has got fuel in it. This it's still got a tank. Pop some of that out. Oh, I don't have to stick a pipe in my mouth. Right, we are filling up. Well, 40%. Something anyway. Stick that back in the gun cup here. Oh, hell. Let's, let's make a, a swift exit, shall we? Oh, all hell breaks these. Oop, that doesn't look like it's healthy. Oh, whoa, whoa, bouncy, bouncy. I don't think I told it to turn the wheel like that. Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. That hasn't been Carl's got that ideas case. of its own. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... Yeah. No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! Remnant car. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Don't know what a remnant is yet. Apparently nobody's got wheels apart from us. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. Remnant, whatever that means. And it's a car, which is probably the only reason it works. Poppy. Find shelter. Looks like it might be shelter over there. Get inside. <laughs> Couldn't seem to get out for a second then. Yeah, I thought I felt something going on there. We lost a wheel somewhere. Back there, apparently. Ooh, this is not good weather. Doggies. We're in. Flip breaker switch. Rocket cola. Anybody? Some cleaning sprays there. Would that be light. Ah. Poppy. Backpack on Hello, uh, table. Okay. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent the preacher to your garage on a, a official zone business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and will uh Cola, mm. yep. Definitely Nico Cola vibes are going on from there. Ten years and seventeen volumes. 
Help us out or bad poetry is coming your way. Make worse than death. That's me. Unfortunately, you got zapped free. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Yeah, I don't think that's an option really right now. Just we'll start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. I think soft hands would be less likely to break things in your shop, wouldn't they? So, I pick up the mechanic's eye. What? You'll need help. There's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. There we go. Well, that's our HUD. We're now all looking like a, some kind of. Uh, I have some kind of crazy um, goggles on. So, it looks like we have to bring the car around in a minute, which can be challenging. Sam's on wheel. So, patch yourself up at the first aid station. Okay. Nice. Well, that was quite easy. That's cool. Uh, pull the car in, put a wheel back on. I think I saw a wheel back by the car. I'm going this way. Uh, I guess we're going this way. Car was around that way, wasn't it? Yep, there it is. There's the wheel that came off. Hmm. Right. So, engine. Back up a little bit. Get this car in. We are experiencing some weather. The car's got its own ideas about where it wants to go. There we are, we seem to be doing okay now. Up. Turn the wipers off. Ah, I see. That's why I can get out very easily. Okay. Um, right. Is there an option to close the bloody door? Not right now, apparently. Right. Craft a replacement door. Well, I've got a missing door here. Everything else seems to have most of a door on it, so yeah, I think we need that. Uh, add to your D list, craft a replacement door. Okay, not quite sure how I do that. Crude door, okay. Um, how do I add that to my to-do list? Open here, so that's Okay, so that's the inventory. I see the gap underneath the writing tells me where I am. Blueprints, missions, route map, cool. Logbook, okay. Right, pin to checklist, Y, okay. Nice, I think. Gather items from the car behind for my checklist, because I've got to-do list, I need glass, tape from the look of that, uh, whatever the sippy cup symbol is, and screws from the look of it. Okay, right. How's it going now, you alright? Evening, Gabe. What if, uh, 
The Daisy would be dying already from the rain, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, I can't get in there. I need a pry bar. Yeah, station wagons are an interesting thing. Okay, so there's a pry bar. Uh, transfer. Okay, that was easy. What's this? Mechanics kit. Okay, let's have that. What's that? Uh, duct tape. Definitely need some of that, apparently. Uh, rearrange. Oh, that makes sense to me. Not quite what I'd mind. That works for me. Um, I guess I'm going to need to equip this. Okay. Can hold to assign a quick slot. That works for me, yeah. To one. Okay, so that's left. Oh, I see. All right, left and right to get to it. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, definitely piece by piece type deal. Nice. What have we got there? Glass and road flares. Okay. Uh. I've any road flares, but okay. I can hit it. Uh, right. Uh, search the dumpster by the garage door for items I am unable to craft. Friendly dumpster. Friendly. You threw stuff at me. It's not really how I'd categorise friendly. Uh, scrapper. Cool. Right, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to... And that to this one for now. That works for me. Right, scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Interesting. I got a massive uh, horizontal circular saw. Even though, even ancient, how are we doing? We're all doing well. Let's uh, let's get our scrap on. It struggled a little bit there on my old performance, but. Uh, There we go. That's a summer tyre. I could probably... I don't know if I need that. That's a scrap. Let's scrap. Chomping away at that, isn't it? Rubber and stuff. So, still need duct tape and whatever the... I think it's plastic, that, uh... Oh, fuel tank. Um, you know what else I'm going to do while I'm at this? Whoa, hello! I'm going to... have this. Doesn't actually say you do this. I'm going to siphon all the fuel out of this. Because I figure having spare is not a terrible idea. Oh, there's still a little bit left in there. Cool. Trunk gunk. I don't think I want to know about your trunk gunk. Thank you and uh, good day. Playing with cars. Yep, what could possibly go wrong? Me and cars. This is a uh, match made in heaven, right? Get anywhere there. Go. 
Cool. We scrap the crap out of that. <clears throat> so I now have everything I need except sufficient plastic -y stuff. I think that's plastic. Uh that'll wait for now. I'm supposed to be able to open that, but I don't seem to be able to. Um, let's go. See if the friendly dumpster wants to help me. Not right now, apparently. It makes me think I may have missed something in my scrapping efforts. Maybe it's this? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Doesn't seem to be that. That worked. I think. Yeah, plastic. Nice, that's what I need. Pop wire. Nice, so I got what I need now. Cool. That worked. Very mash, eh? Hmm. It's stuff of nightmares to me. Uh, right, so at the workbench, I need to. Craft a crude door. Go. Install. Now, as for that, I'm somewhat inclined to put it here. Um, just because if I'm going to store stuff in the back, that seems more pro pertinent than worrying about non-existent passengers falling out. You know what I mean? Nice. LKHT. Okay. Uh, get repair putty from locker. I need new words and something about this. Repair putty. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Spare tire. Let's take it. Chemicals. Right. Let's just grab this for now. Everything else can stay in there. Uh, transfer. Inventory. Um, let's just equip this for right now. Uh, use the repair putty to fix car parts. That's definitely in need of, so... Uh, right trigger. Splat. Tell you what, if it was that easy to repair cars, we wouldn't need mechanics, would we? No panel there. Headlight is missing. It's working. Bumper seems to be technically holding in there. Technically. Door needs some work. Let's uh, fix that. <laughs> Nightmare comes when I get the car running. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. Mm. Right, let's just check... Um, the major stuff first, and then we'll go back around, maybe fix the less prioritous stuff after that. Some tire. We could do the a schlepper repair gunk. Nice, that door has definitely seen better days. The door one I made is even worse, I think. Okay, so apparently I still need to set some repair gunk on here as well. 
There we are, fully repaired. I need to fix the flat. Okay. So. Left bumper to look at that. Okay, for that I'm going to need a sealing kit or replace the tyre. Okay. Crafting a ceiling kit. What's involved in crafting a ceiling kit, then? Um, I would need more duct tape, which I don't currently have. I don't particularly know. The means are available. You know what? I think we'll put the... Um... Hmm, I have many questions. I think we'll put a spare tire on there. So for now, I'm going to pull this one off. Possibly go wrong. Store that. Take the spare. Get on there. Boom. We're good. So I need to scan the loose wheel because this one keeps coming off. To do like that. And I need a mechanics kit. Not really any of the wiser on where to find. In my inventory, so it says. Oh, wait, I did find one of those earlier, didn't I? Nice, okay. Hmm. <laughs> you had one, I used to sleep it off in there. Ah, uh, yeah, it could do worse than that. I imagine it's the height of comfort, but. Oh, that's what I want. I want to repair, don't I? Hey! Pop pop! Nice! That was nice and easy. Cool. So now we need to install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Because, yeah, the, the trunk doesn't work without cardboard boxes, apparently. Uh, right. I see. Press the hole. Fine. Crafting mat. Hey. So I'll be able to do at least some basic crafting in the like oh uh, there's a little prototype that. of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car wherever it'll fit. I do know it's going in there, so let's open the door. Arc device. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> this is going to be rather important. Got a map. I've sat nav thing going on it, and other things as well. should consider it the father, son, and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it Voice if familiar. you long enough to use it. Definitely a familiar voice. Living in cars and vans and stuff has got more popular in uh, recent... In recent years, first aid kits from the locker, apparently. Ugh, my nose is all a little bit ink right now. I <laughs> bet the rubber symbol is a rubber duck. 
What's this? Sheet steel, okay. Uh, cool. Right, so for now, I think I'm going to put this away. I feel like if I put all... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe putting this away might be the play. Don't know. Play for now. Cool. Um... Store items in a car trunk. Okay. So, so let's put the scrapper in here. I don't think that's really a thing that I want to do. I think I probably want to keep it on me, but anyway. For the point of uh, teaching me things. So that should be where that goes. Okay, good place to put that. Um, I need two road flares in there, and uh, then we'll be good to go. Okay, why well, I need those things, but it's a little bit jumpy and weird at times. I'm not sure if that's the controller or if that's just me. I can stay in there for now. Nice. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Gear. Yeah, okay. Uh, an impact hammer blueprint. Okay. Cool. Use the pump to fill the car. I don't have a feeling I've got an unlimited amount of um, fuel here. Uh, PC and PS5, Gabe, yeah. Drive the switch to charge the battery. If you're all set, Z take a look at the projector against the wall. I don't know why I can't close that door, and if, or if I can close the door, and how to do it. I mean, I could turn the power off, but uh, that's not really what I want. Select the destination using the wall map. Okay, route planner. This is the zone. In these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. Okay. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. So I need to get stuff to build an antenna so I can plan... Runs out further to get further upgrades. You like it so far, Gabe? Yeah, first impression's okay. We have literally just driven down the hill to the garage and started figuring out how to repair the car, but that's about it. But, uh, yeah. And we're, what, uh, an hour in? Yeah. 40 minutes in. Yeah, I said that myself, Mel. No. Definitely good if the car... It was actually that easy to repair a car. Hmm... Yeah. 
PC and PS5 only. Taran and Goa, voice to Melda in Tiny TV and Wonderlands. I might be where I recognise it, but I feel like I haven't recognised the voice from somewhere else. Oh no. Anyway, this is the only journey we have available on here at the moment. Um, this is where we are down at the bottom. I'm guessing we got sucked straight through here. Well, no, actually, we had to drive down from somewhere, didn't we? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know where we got sucked through. Um, we might figure that out. We might not. But right now, as my destination, conditions unknown. Route analysis, not terrible. Don't know much about it. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage, follow the access road. Yay. I'd like to craft another door to put on there just for my own self, like. Um, I can't craft anything. Uh, I don't have enough plastic or duct tape to craft another door. Oh, well, we'll see what we get while we're out and about. I still think my decision to put the boot on was probably the wisest one. Rather than anything else. We have upgrades. Lots of stuff strapped all over the car. There's the map. It's gonna tell me things apparently. She stood out and then turned left, didn't she? Yeah. Status of the car, I'm guessing. Damage to panels, door missing entirely, panel missing entirely, panel missing entirely, yeah, okay. See, there's me uh, compass, there's some other bits of info. I don't know what this is. Abilities. Okay, I guess we'll figure that out in time. Right then. Here goes. Onward. High R levels facility, extreme caution advised, further inquiries directed to skate C to B. She did say turn left, didn't she? Yeah, it looks like she did. Off we go. On the road again. What could go wrong? Mean cars, right? Right. Follow road to place. Should take three hours. Apparently. Uh, is this going to kind of jump me on automatically then to an area? I guess it is. Seems to be the case. A to travel. Didn't kind of expect that. I assumed I'd just be driving directly. It'd be a bit more open world style. But uh, that's okay. Residential damp forest, out of zone, radio station. Petrol stability. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Plasma. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. Um, be hopping out. Yeah, Ooh, that's really weird. I would like to know if it is possible to hide the HUD at all. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, 
It does not appear to be. It's suboptimal because, uh, yeah. Definitely like to um, be able to set up some uh, more, you know, pictures and stuff like that. Just not going to be easy to do, I don't think. Right, so we need to find and scan a plasma generator and gather and collect placement parts. Specific ones, I don't know. Going slowly because I kind of want to enjoy well, the scenery right now. Yeah, right there in the early intro bit, the graphics were really blocky and stuff. And now that we're in here, it's they're fine. I'm guessing that's uh, we need to fix this thing type issue. Okay. Device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator, and it'll figure out the tools you need. Whoops. I could step a bit further back, maybe, and sort of just kind of crop in the middle. <laughs> but I'd like to be able to hide the HUD. Might be something to have a look at. So, um, scan. Now, how do I do that again? Uh, left bumper, okay. There we go. Uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Need an impact hammer, which I don't currently have. Blueprints, impact hammer, duct tape and fabric. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and have a look for duct tape and fabrics. Anything else I can get my hands on? Uh, what's that? Scrap metal, apparently, not just screws. Okay, uh, let's take that. Plastic, cool, that's handy. Um, um, uh, I would like to. Uh, no, don't, no, 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 no. Cool, right. Look at you, out in the zone, all on your own. They grow up so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Um, uh, nice. Such good materials from looking things. Yeah, batteries, plastic, glass, plastic, rubber, plastic. Still haven't managed to find duct tape, which I think I needed. Yeah, that's the main thing, but some progress made in here. I probably want to come back with my scrapper in a bit and uh, load of stuff out of this. Um, don't know, Gabe, in short. There was some kind of new technology and it promised uh, remarkable things and then at the same time there were rumours of um, forced evacuations and things and an exclusion zone was set up and it um, hmm interesting uh, yeah and it um, exp was expanded repeatedly It sounds. And yeah, and then the whole peninsula was just kind of sealed off and abandoned, apparently. Hmm. 
I need an electrician's kit to fix that. Okay. Blueprints. I do not have means craft an electrician's kit, apparently. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant okay. is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No that one doesn't is sound able good. to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was. And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. <laughs> okay, so now I'm craft an impact hammer. Cool. Uh, it also looks like some kind of weird bazooka. Oh, it's a hydraulically powered hammer. Okay, a gas powered hammer type thing. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I also need my scrapper, I think. Cool. Um, that's going to be assigned... Probably there, I think. So I don't know that I'm going to need that as a, such a big priority. Let's dock that over there. Right. Um, nothing about uh, electrician's kit yet. Cool. Right, okay. Use of the controls eventually. Here's again. Yes, everything went according to power and grey, more or less, so far, sort of, kind of, maybe, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to start here, I think. I'm regretting my life choices there. Uh... No, wait, no, I'm not. Um, controls are a little weird, but we'll get there. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. good in here another scrapper in case you oh no that's the one i've got oh no it's just rope flares okay yeah i thought, I thought i'd had some good luck there i've not um yeah. can't just rip them off and replace them i actually have to take the parts and then craft my own that's that's fine Makes sense, kind of, anyway. Is it only the second? I've never played Cyberpunk. I feel like there's been other games that had significant amounts of driving in them. Did that, Did my thing break? I think it must have worn out. My scrapper must have worn out. Okay.
Hmm. If I do something daft and lose the spare scrapper by not taking it. Don't feel like I did, but okay. I somehow should drop the scrapper I had. I think I broke it though. If I dropped it, it'd be on the floor, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, maybe I can force the door with this. Let's give it a go. Apparently not. You'd think, but no. Um, I have to have a look down and see if I can craft a, craft a new scrapper. Uh, I can. Scrap metal and plastic. That's not too bad then. Go. Cool. Hello, where were we? Do with a head torch, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Yeah, Cyberpunk's driving was a whole thing, right? Anyway, um, so there's another car over there I could potentially scrap, uh, salvage stuff from. Do we do anything on that? Okay, 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 okay. We're living, we're learning. I don't think. Oh, I can't jump. I just can find the button. Uh. Okay, well, that's not working either. Right, okay. Um. So up next, let's have the impact hammer out and smash plasma generators full of materials. Uh, this couldn't possibly go wrong, right? Well, I'm not dead, so, you know. Chalk that one up as a start. Plasma gathered. Need more than that, apparently. Another car, which we get to salvage stuff from. Garage, and then there's a building that looks a bit more dangerous over there. Scrapping the phone might be play. Oh, hello, refrigerator. Uh, there is canned food. So that was the plan. Yeah, it tends to jump around a bit, though, selection on um, controller. What's that? That is plasma. And, uh... That's a 9 volt battery. Okay. Right. What have we got here? Radiation hazard. That's pretty secure as well. Look at the vibe I'm getting in there. Not clearly convinced that I want to either. In Belfast, how are we doing? There's another uh, generator does food from the look of it. So 
So if I want in here, it's going to have to wait until another point in time when we can actually uh, bust in. Okay. Right. So I assume... Uh, I'm up here right now. This is basically encouraging me to make my way down the road and see what we can find. Okay. Um, go then. Go wrong. At least we know I don't need to worry about any other traffic on account of my being the only one with a working car, apparently. What the F is that? I don't know, I'm not a little bit further down the road here. I'm going to park and hop out, see if we can see what the heck this is. It's definitely some sort of robot up here. An abductor! Okay, I'm gonna not be anywhere near that fucker then. Uh, right. Clues in the name, right? That's a girl got a patch today. I did not see that. Um, I would have thought I'd have seen something about it on. Uh, um, what's it? Discord, but I didn't. So, yeah, it's fine. Let's disable this thing nice and pronto, shall we? See, so you zap me nice car now. Well, it's not a very nice car, let's be honest, but it's a car. It's the only one I got as well. I did say something about radio towers and stuff having... zapping you with... Well, towers zapping you with these things. Take all of those things. How's the fuel? F all. Um, there's a whole bunch here. Fuzzy plants. I don't think it's that kind of survival game, though. I got thoroughly zapped. My health is not looking great over there. We try a slightly different strategic approach this time. Yeah, a month and a half. Look forward to that one. Smash it a little bit quicker this time. Okay, I think what we're going to do now, now get back to my car, when I remember the controls, see if we can't uh, stash some stuff, because I'm looking a bit much in my pocketsies, and I don't really have a great deal of uh, ability. I also need to heal, so we'll look at doing that while we're here. Right, so primary is uh yep i think that seems to be uh all right not really take that and stick it in sideways uh i will take one of those 
Uh, use. Oh. Okay, hold it. There goes my health ticking up. Working here. And I still need a little bit more plasma. And yeah, to find anything else cool that might be out here. Probably have uh, started the engine before I put it in drive, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Gas overlook and camping. I'm gonna go this way, avoid that fellow, and see if we can't find anything cool down there. Something looks like it's occurring anyway. Up from Trouted as well. Bloody hell, everybody's sneaking things through and I'm not seeing it. Um, Trouted, I'm not really quite surprised I didn't see Roadmaster 4, given that it was probably on socials uh, rather than anywhere else. And uh, I've kind of been avoiding Twitter lately. So Elon Musk making a complete fucking toxic cesspit of it. What's in the trash can? Trash, but useful trash. Proved trash. There's a weird, creepy ass noise going on out there. It's that thing, and I don't want to like it. Hmm. Oh man, a bean box does seem like the sort of thing that should probably be scrapped, yeah. Lab computer, okay. I'm guessing my initial scrapper that I had, because of it coming out of the bin, was on its last legs anyway. Might be why it broke, I think. Okay. Public health notice. Completely illegible. Tidy up your lab. How about I loot your lab? Is that okay? Um, in other news, though, definitely no signs of a functional plasma generator, though. Um, and I think the route map is not quite as useful as I was hoping. I only wanted a local map, for which I will need the one in the car, it would seem. That's fine. I posted a YouTube short. Uh, can't surprise to see that. Is that my fuel gauge? If it is, it doesn't look good. Car door doesn't seem to work anymore. I'm sure what the yellow dot means, but it doesn't seem to want to close. I do know that. Let's see if I can. Uh... I don't want to get out. Oh well, I closed that time. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I think the map's telling me to push on down the road, isn't it? I'm concerned about this guy. 
Yeah. It's just, what the F? I feel like that was there, and then it wasn't there, and then it reappeared. Yeah, it looks like you might be a problem. Let's move on by. Those are like bins. Hmm. Had a lot of good things about this game. It's definitely a vibe, I'd say that much. Not sure if that was a good idea. Oh shit. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting the hell out of it. Definitely didn't look like me doing whatever the fuck I just did. Just mauling that thing. I think that's where he's storing whatever the heck he's collecting. Right, so according to this, there's nothing here, so that's just scrap. There's a couple of things off the side of the road there that I didn't look at, and something in the middle which I also didn't look at. Uh, okay, so here's my big plan. Move on to the next one. Okay, um... Rest of the voice acting. So far, voice acting is fine. There's only three voice acting, voice actors, voice parts that have come up so far, so... That's about all we can say at that point, really, isn't it? But First impressions, it's cool. Um, it's making me think. It seems to be a little easier to follow than Nightingale was. At first glance. Specific drive, Kai. It's definitely a mood, that's for sure. There's a bit of fuel in that. Well, that was somewhat productive. Rock textures are less good than some of the other textures, which is interesting and odd. Definitely things that can be repaired and scrapped and stuff all over the place. It's more over that way. Summer tyres. I feel like I want to take that rather than actually uh, anything else. Cool. Uh, anything in fuel tank? Just a little bit. I've got a little idea here. Get the fuel can out. Oh, I'm actually quite full on the fuel. Unless, nice. what have we got a minute? Let's top her up. I'm down here. Get our siphon on. Now I'll max out on that again. We'll uh, push on a bit further down the road to the next spot, which is actually just over there. And uh, see if we can't sort of figure out what's occurring and move on from there. There's a glowy generator thing further on down there. Let's not drive into that rock. Reminds you of Sunken Land. There's definitely a bit of that vibe about it, I think, sort of visually. So, yeah, I feel like I need to go and have a shift here around there. I also feel like I don't want to far too near it, otherwise I might have issues. I'm just equipped equip for off-roading right now.
Those things zap, and I'd rather they didn't zap my car. Let's go and have a look over here first. Again, not getting myself into too much bother. You need a torch. Apparently I'm in danger of something. That's from the look of it. No, for sure, but... Power break. Plastic. Some use some scrap in here. Le crapper. Crude door. I'll take that in a minute. There's anything else on in there? No. Tell you what, I am going to have that. Where's the exit? There it is. Health has declined a little bit while I was in there, as a result of the rads, I'm guessing. That's what was going down here. Phew. Right. I got a door! I got four doors! And a boot! And, like, I'm missing some panels and stuff, but the car just got slightly less... ...hooked up. Um, I don't know, but... Right, here's the plan. No, nope, that wasn't what I want. That wasn't the plan. Right, uh, I'm not quite sure what the heck I pressed there, but okay. It's the plasma I needed. I'm now... Well, looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. Lights I'm out! Gorilla radio! Map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Antenna tower up on a hill. Turn that shit up. Lights out. Gorilla radio. Great tune. Uh, that I am obviously not doing the slightest bit of justice to. Uh, what's that? Ceiling kit. Uh, tire repair. Okay, fair enough. Um, can I use this from here? Yes, I can, actually. That's a good bit of thinking on the dev's part. I look like shit. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, cassette futurism art style. I don't know. Well, it's set in 98, supposedly, this game, I think. Alright, I'm going to go and hit that, because it says I need X amount of plasma, but it would seem sensible for me to um, pursue a little bit more while I can. Also, I can turn that thing off, which is definitely not the worst idea I've ever had in my life. I don't have to drive through Zap Station X. Right, so there is more stuff that way I can go and attempt to explore. Which may or may not be wise, I don't really know. Um, bu 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 bum. gathering crafts, craft material, yeah. It's not just generally gathering up materials, I think there's a lot there. Um, let's hop in the car a minute. Mixed bag on the inner over here. Yeah, uh, they're always a mixed bag, aren't they? 
So I need to go there, which is way down the road and on the right. My plays go down the road and then get behind this hill and then have a look at everything down here when I get there before I get to my destination. It's definitely a good vibe to this game. It's engaging, it's interesting, I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to see more. I think that might be an armour thing, actually. The... That's not weird at all. In a fallout kind of a way. Oh, what's happening over there? But I don't want any part of it. Yeah, I haven't got where I'm going. Yeah, um, there, where my crosshair is. That bar in the middle there, I think, is an armour bar. I think uh, it's warning me because a lot of my panels are busted and the car is not very well armoured. There's a whole load of stuff here that I don't understand yet. Um, that door is now lit up. Panel. Uh, there's a whole load of other stuff on this that I don't really understand at the moment. Uh, I don't see an actual fuel gauge. There's a battery charge gauge there, I think. Uh, I'm not seeing an actual fuel gauge. There's a fuel... Oh, and this whole thing, that's just a whole big-ass fuel gauge down here. That makes sense. I thought it was a red counter. I see now. Um, and obviously my speedo on the left. By that, I do not mean budgie smuggler. This looks um, fascinating and desolate. The first thing I'm going to do is turn that off. And then I'm going to go and have a look at this other thing. Gotcha. Wrong button completely. I totally did not mean to jump there. Yeah, the controls are odd on um, uh, a controller. I know that much. Hmm. Yeah, nice. That's cool. This dying light like two, two years old already. I feel like it's not that old. An anomaly. Okay. Glittering boulder. I'm going to do something very stupid. Well, it wasn't the stupidest thing I could have done, apparently. It only took 1% of health off me, but still. Cool. Car's going to stay there a minute. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Some of it is actually kind of something worth looking at, I think. So I don't know what these guys are or why they're glowing, but I don't like it. Go and have a look over here. Fuel. Not much fuel, but fuel nonetheless. Ooh, steel door. Let's have a rummage through our logbook before too long. I successfully scanned one of these already. Yes, apparently I have. Maybe pick a controller. It just um, partly the driving thing, or primarily the driving thing. It just felt like the way to go. Um, I did do a little bit of a, a roll in to get thumbnails and stuff. Um, and driving with a mouse and keyboard doesn't feel the best. As I say, uh, other things I'm not completely sold on with uh, with the controller either. I could switch it over and try 
running with the, the mouse and keyboard for a bit. That might be worthwhile. I think the menu navigation will be a bit easier, if nothing else. Looking around. Let's do that in a minute. Yeah, it's stable. Again, ground's turtling away over there. Stable my eye. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of get why these signs are not as... Um, ...complete as they could be. But I do kind of wish they were. Yeah, they've got titles on them, but not much else. Ooh, backpack. Can I have a big... Oh, it's... I've already got a pack, it's not a very big one. Can I get a bigger one? I don't know. Seems like a thing that might be possible to do, to do but... Hey! Really want a torch, I know that. in the fuel and what's this thermo sap crystal no idea what the deal with that is but uh, we'll have it won't we It's not going to last much longer. Not sure about the execution so far. Yeah, it seems okay to me so far. So I think in a second we'll swap over and see how it does with mouse and keyboard compared to controller, which is fine, but I think some of the issues with controllers, I'm just not used to it. But I don't know if you can rebind things on a controller if you wanted to, which might be relevant and useful. I just want to make sure I got stuff to repair with, craft with, because we're going to be doing a lot of that. I think once everything clicks, it'll be like um, a lot of other survival games. It will smooth out a little bit more, and the flow will go once it clicks a bit more. Right now, we're just in uh, tutorial, really. And it's a little ambiguous. Hell yeah, do I want to have uh, off-road tyres scanned? I don't know if I have to scan things to get plans or what, but I've got the opportunity to scan it, and that thing seems like a thing to be doing. And that will be the end of my scrapper, so I'm going to craft another one in a minute. Because why not? Can't actually craft things like crude panels and bumpers and things. So I need a panel, I need a bumper. I need two panels and a bumper. Really hard to complete the car, which I might as well do since I've been grabbing a whole load of gear while I'm here, haven't I? Um Right, crude panel. On you go. Let's 
There's another one, and I need a rear bumper, apparently. I can get, uh, oh, that's interesting. Repair party, what does that take? Stuff they have a lot of, but not chemicals. Yeah, that's interesting. And that's everything. Okay, right, okay. Uh, bumper, anyway. That's a little cool. Right. The uh, hotbar's not bad on controller, just popping between them all. I don't imagine it's pretty good on, uh, on, um, that's a keyboard as well. Yeah, this thing has a health bar, and then underneath that it has a scrapping bar too. So just, like, you see that white health bar there? It's going down now I'm attacking it with the scrapper. And then you've got the hatch bar underneath, which is now diminishing to breaking in the scrap, which is interesting. Not sure why that's a thing, but uh, I suppose one condition is repairable and the other's not, maybe? Another tyre I can uh, keep your scrap on. So there's more stuff a little bit further up the road. Okay. So I think this might be a good point. Let's flip that controller off. Let's see how we do with the mouse and keyboard. Just taking my wires up a minute. Whoop. Controllers switch off. <laughs> We'll give this a go and see if that feels better, as, um, yeah, I'm guessing everything apart from the driving will. So we'll see. Right. The sensitivities are completely different, but... <laughs> I like uh, E as my activation thing a lot better than I do uh, using the bumper. Now, it's WASD to drive a car, which is always a little bit iffy, you know. Reward exploration itch. Yeah, there's definitely some of that to it. Um, let's say with everything else, I have no idea what's going on yet. There's a whole bunch of weird occurring, and we've barely even scratched the surface of uh, the realm of weird. So there's something to the left we can have a gander at. We'll see where we go from there. No handbrake, which is a bit odd. Do you find that weird? We'll see how I get on with the controls on mouse and keyboard for driving, but first impression, I feel a little bit better already, to be honest, just because I think as much as anything, because I'm used to it, you know? Okay. That's not quite how I'd have used it, but okay. Hmm. I think we've got a whole bunch of. Uh... So that's into there. Logbook. Okay. Car dashboard. Ba -ba 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 I think most of that stuff we figured out. In car controls, I figured that out. Drive preparation, planning a drive, moving the direction, car abilities. Certain components and equipment will give your car. Um, you can install have abilities that need to be activated. Okay. Inside these using. A small panel. There's some weird stuff on the, the controls for that, so we'll see how that looks in time. Your car is your shield. Um, uh, yeah, okay. 
Which from radiation, anomalies, and other dangers of the zone, resulting as long as it's in good condition. Keeping doors closed and car parts in good condition will give dependable barrier from the zone. Car's health meter drops it to the red. Okay, that's what that is. Uh, you'll be at risk. Many ways to make repairs on the go. Check crafting options, see what you can replace. And may find helpful tools as you rummage around the zone. Okay, crafting. Okay, we've got the gist of that for now. Zone conditions. Uh, ba -ba 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 and if you make it through unusual conditions or sudden shifts in the zone, logbook will be updated. Study entries carefully. Marching your vitals. Quick slots. Um, you only recover slightly when out of harm's way. It's up to you to heal yourself. There's nothing on radiation there. I can see at the moment. While you're driving through the zone, exploration is essential. If you get lost, check the map. Okay. Um... There's bloody loads of... Uh... Ooh, crikey. There's tons of written uh, lore entries there. Glittering boulder. Yeah, that's way more lore than I can get into it right now. Um... Yeah, special stability right now. Nothing... Crikey, the logbook is absolutely crammed with stuff right now. There's a lot of reading to be done there. I was kind of hoping some of it might be more voice entries that I could play in the background, which they may be, but it's a bit much to uh, try and get at right now. Slip, slip from the mud. Yeah, I know what the deal with that is, but it's apparently deserving. Setting up an aquarium at the minute. Oh. Where are we go. Something fishy. <laughs> it's definitely weird. Put it in Parker's as a. I do appear, he says, to be out of a pry bar right now. I think my pry bar broke when I broke into that last thing, so. Uh, first up, let's get our storage on the go. Uh, how do I move stuff across? Space to transfer, okay. Ceiling kit, yeah, might as well go over there as well right now. Um, and we'll craft a pry bar. Tools, pry bar, cool. Stuff that's in the car I can just craft directly from uh, my inventory, which is cool. So now, if I hit the four, that'll open. Probably one all of that. Is that supposed to take all button, is it? No, there isn't. Fine. That's much easier with a mouse. Could absolutely uh, drag a whole bunch of stuff off the side of here. Mm, maybe slightly more. I think I'm in favour of the mouse and keyboard at the minute. Let's see how we get on with the driving. That's going to be the big question with it. Wait for rain for a sec. <laughs> yeah, pedestrians I don't think we'll have to worry about here. Uh, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. I the feeling I'm going to be doing that quite a lot. Might want to change the drop and stow buttons a little bit.
click to go up. Holy crap, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I put it away? Not like that. Healing on him. Yeah, I'm going to need to look into that. Hmm, warp car. I'm curious what the deal with that is. Uh, holster. Q. Okay. Wouldn't have thunk that, but okay. I'm guessing the only stuff I can craft out and about here is crude stuff, and if I want um, better car parts, I'll have to do that back at the garage, I would think. Yeah, anyway, for now, let's push on, shall we? I wonder if I can get in the back seat out of curiosity. <laughs> I literally just had thought I'm going to find out now. Cannot. Can I open it? I can't get in there. I guess there's going to be something relevant to go back there eventually, though. So there is a right-hand turn up here somewhere to a thing on the hill that we need to get. Ooh, there's a raid the radio's up there, is it? Uh interesting. And uh, it says overlooking camping to the left, which I also don't entirely buy. That way, please. That looks promising. Why it's sending me up this way though. We've got a dead end, so. This is more stuff down there past the dead end, though. Let's bust through here a little bit. A car take a bit of damage? I think it might have done. Generally speaking, just bashing through is not the play. I need a new... Headlight. I'm not quite sure why my car is slowly crawling down the hill. I think I can craft a headlight, can't I? Can. Nice. Let's do that one way then. Holy crap, that's quite cool. It's cooler than the basic one I've got on. Um, I also wanted to have a little shifty around, but I think that might be easy to do. A little further up the street a bit. Just around here. Let things open up a little bit and I might be able to see a bit more. My health is declining and apparently there are rads out here, so get back in the car, I think is the advice. Wherein I am protected from the radiation, which seems to do health damage. Technically my car's health is now in the green. Now I've got a dodgy headlamp and a dodgy wheel, apparently. So there's a shift control, there's one on F, there's one on control, and there's something on space over there. That's weird. I'll stick them on F1, 2, 3, and 4. Makes far more sense. Uh, 
Okay, so I think the tower we're trying to get to is up there. Is this whether there's anything Probably not worth having? Yeah. In conclusion, so far I prefer mouse and keyboard. Not shocking anybody, I don't imagine. Ooh, what's that, I wonder? Although keeping your sort of eyes on the prize. Ah, oh, the walls are a tomb. Okay. Authorised personnel only. seems to be off that way, so I don't think I'm going to get a particularly great look at this. It's going blip, blip. like to change some of these controls around a bit, I think, but I might have to uh, have a ponder on that. So there's apparently broadcast transmitter. I need to get that. Can I get in here? I don't think I can. So Time I have it. Moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get okay. you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Hint, hint. No, we won't. Okay, so I need to find anchors. The nearest one is there. There's a couple around. I need them to charge the arc device in order to get out, because I can't go back the way I came, whatever that was. Um, as... The instability makes that impossible, apparently. I'm kind of wondering right now whether or not the mirrors are actually showing me what I need to see. I think they might actually be. Right wing mirror is not much used to be right now, but yeah. You know. Seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only thing I want to look at is a 12 year old whiskey. Mm -hmm. And the back of this breacher's head when I send them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. 
Or am I to understand you've lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine, stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait, really? Happy, darling, you've never given this easily. What's what's going on? I'm too curious, I suspect. How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> he is old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend, a role model. I'm giving you ten seconds to get out of my. Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, uh, watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. Watch out for the bunnies. Why do I get the feeling that it's both literal and also not at all what it sounds like? Um, I'm not worried about my low health at the minute, but I also don't have a lot of health uh, healing options available to me. So the thing I'm looking for is further down here on the left, apparently. Looks like it might be a thing. You see, I'm looking at this, and I'm going ahead and I'm assuming that's not just, uh, that's not a bug, because the car gets quirky, apparently, and that, uh, it's meant to do that. I'm not sure that it's meant to do that, exactly. Um, it's meant to get quirky, according to the game. According to cars, eh, maybe not quite so much. What the... that's interesting looking. Hmm... <laughs> Anchor plug. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in any Limtech, okay. Recently. Feed the anchor to the Alec device. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on over there, but I have a feeling the neighborhood. Well, the locals aren't happy. Yep, he doesn't look happy. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability voucher. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to Uh oh no, I'm being commandeered by a thing. Bloody um abductor grabbed my uh Grabbed my car. Well, there's a chargey uh, device type thing in my jig. That thing as well, but I don't apparently need to do that. So this should be. Select the gateway coordinates on the map. Okay. Either of those and head for it. Which one's slightly nearer? Uh, that one, apparently. Link gateway. I see, I have to be above that line on the right there, I think. To say I've got enough charge. Okay. In other words, there's another thing here. Uh, I haven't been able to find, find a um, photo mode yet. No, no. I don't think... Or a means to hide the HUD, so... Let's grab that. And go... This is go... Well, yep, we got a bit more juice from that. There are more, but they're not near me right now, so let's just stick with what we've got. Let's grab this. Drive, apparently. It looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting by the instability. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, apparently I need to get there somehow. 
It's not going to be this way. These bits of the earth popping up and uh, kicking the hell out of my car are not so great. So I've got to drive into the instability and it's warning me to get my ass over there fast because uh, all hell's breaking loose. That big orange pillar in the distance is my destination and it's probably not so good for my car if I hit things. Although I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to get in the way of options on that point. I didn't see in that. Whoa! Which way? Left, 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 left. There's alarming noises, and I think the area is collapsing a little bit, and there's a circle closing behind me. I think is potentially problematic. There we go, made it through there. Yeah, heading for a giant glowing. Oh dear. Pillar of light and energy like that doesn't seem like a terribly great idea. Apparently, I have to. And we're out. I lost health grab in the first globe. Ah, oh, interesting. Whoa, hello. We'll be back. My car is a bit beaten up, but could be worse. You're alive. Ooh, there we go. That's interesting. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? I'm fairly sure it's not going to go like that, but anyway. So. An overview of the state of my car now, which is in need of repairs. Break open back room doors with an impact hammer. No, no drop impact hammer. So there's a fabricator in here that I can now use. Uh, environmental damage, yeah, might be something else. Um, I don't know, I need to keep an eye on things. I think I was a bit quicker about it that time as well. Hmm. All right. Fabrication system. Interesting. This is complicated and confusing. Stable, unstable, corrupt. Jesus. This is going to get potentially... Uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, ooh. Potentially huge. This game looks like it's going to be massive, actually. Anyway, I need to craft a scanning antenna. Magic. That. And break. <laughs> With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress, impress some of the anomalies nearby. Um, crude panel. A crude bumper. Don't need those. I need some repair party. So, hand a vac. Using most of the basic principles of a domestic vacuum cleaner, though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. We'll suck up anything small it's pointed towards. Okay. We'll explore that at some point. Vargas Vac.
Interesting. Right. Install antenna on the roof. I did see at some point a way up there, but I've forgotten what it is now. Aha! There it is. Hmm, definitely ruptured in some way. Um Interesting. coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Stall handbrake in car. Well, we did see that thing. I'm not surprised to uh, be moving towards it. I was wondering why the car didn't have a handbrake. But I get the feeling it's not going to be used in a conventional manner. Um... A bit of space in order to get this... Uh... What's going on here? I'm going to squeeze this thing in, aren't I? It's just going over there for a minute. Apparently I can rotate it. Uh, I'm sure what happened there. I'm still going to fit in. Ah, I see. Half a rotate. There's just... Didn't seem to be... Oh, I see. Okay. Right, okay. Now my mate. Brain, brain was off. It's now back on again. Okay. Right. Back... Uh, I'm looping now. Right. Still... Handbrake in the engine bay. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Uh, that's a fair point. What else have we got here? Road flares. The goodies. And food. Transfer trunk. Cool. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Nice. Uh... I feel like that, that's got to be placeable somewhere, but I don't know how to place it, per se. That works. Okay, we're kind of learning things. Of 
quite what I had in mind, but anyway. Um, right. Uh, that's a thing over there. I'm going to need this. Um, she's basically suggesting that I pull pretty much everything out of here, isn't she? Uh, keep that. Right, now where the heck am I going to stash? Potentially useful stuff. I feel like I can get in through that door as well, but... Mm. Decisions. Uh, yeah, let's all connect these two. Let's close that door. Wonderful. That. Uh, easy to be planned, sort of, maybe, kind of. Uh, the impact hammer. God knows where the impact hammer is. It's in here, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Um. Uh, right. That's that's a bit large for that, is it? Right. Okay. Um. Let's move that in here. Doesn't work like that. Apparently, it can go in there as well. Um, assigned to quick slot. Okay. Oops. Nice. Right. So, uh, that puts that away. Alright, next we're going to... Stuff, pretty much all of this stuff in here, I think. This is coming out. It's gonna go down there, I think. That's the same. I can go on there. Uh, yeah, that, that I want to take out. I can sit there for now. Wonderful. Oh, that back up. Or at least be able to find stuff, kind of, you know? Uh, okay, I don't know what's going there then. Okay, anything else that looks like it might have excessively doubled up? Fine. Okay, cool. Right. And now, this can go in there. Uh, those can go down. Yeah, for a minute. Um, we got that. Uh, uh, increases your health. Okay, cool. Extra healing. All that in one pile, just in case. Um, bu 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 bum. I don't know if I need any of this or what it's for. Okay. That out. Maybe it's not even close to full, don't be silly. Um, I'm going to have these out for now. Well, actually, no, it's gonna. Yes, actually, I am. I think. Some ideas for that. Uh, cool. Right. Moving stuff around a bit so I can actually kind of find it at a later date. He says, hopefully, maybe. Um, ba -ba 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 -um. Yeah, that's that. Uh. Oh. I think we are otherwise good. 
suggests I might need road flares in there, but it also suggests I might need to take a whole load of this, doesn't it? Get the car's ready for journeys out and stuff. Um, I feel like I don't really need road flares if I'm honest, but okay. Um, go up there. Right, what I would like to see is... I'm going to close that door, because it still bugs me that it just sits open when I'm in. Um, I want to see whether or not... I'm going to close the crude door at the moment. That's uh, crude headlights. Yeah, so I can't really craft much of any interest, so repairing is probably the play. Can I craft repair party? I can. Cool. Um, but I don't really need to right now. What I need to do is... them out. You know what, let's use the other pile. Okay. Um, that's actually not doing that badly. Mm, sure, let's kind of work our way around. That definitely needs a whole load slapping on it. Let's. Things going. I'm not saying I'm doing okay with this because I'm just going to repair everything up to max I think Chemicals are something I definitely need to keep an eye out for so that I can uh, stop things up. That headlight's not doing well. I'm not going to bother with some of these that are actually doing reasonably okay. Keep an eye on the tyres might be a good play though, because I could imagine I'd be in deep trouble if those fail on me. I'd like to replace my spare tyres. It's a bit more du permanently durable, but that's actually fine, okay. Uh, Alright. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, okay, I think we're alright for now. Um, Cool, so I don't think. I think the repair plus you can go and live in this, can't it? In my toolbox. There's not a lot of space in here, but. Uh, Cool. Um, I can heal myself here. As if by magic. That was definitely worthwhile. Uh, repair car. Uh, it's at 96. I'm kind of okay with that. Fill fuel tank. Definitely want to do that. Suggesting I might want to put some repair putty, battery jumpers, uh, well, repair putty, battery jumpers in there. And I would like to have a look into some more meds as well, if I can. Um, so, everything I need for that, I could have one of them. Didn't see. Uh, first aid kit. There we go. Duct tape fabric and craft a few of those. I don't have a lot of these at the moment. Uh, I don't have enough fabric anymore, but I've got some, so I've made some progress. Uh, right, those can go in there. Go there too. A repair putty, apparently. I can see being useful on the road, potentially, to be honest. That's how long we're out there for, done not it? <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes, diving in and out. I haven't 
Uh, I have no idea what Bondo might be, right? But I'm assuming it's like some form of uh, some brand of repair party. Okay. Um, recommended checklist. Don't have to. Could repair the car a little bit more. Because there's a couple of bits here and there that are not as repaired as they could be. I think we'll be okay for now. Um, right. Finding my way to town is the next job. So, we now have this here side room open. I would like these doors shut. We've got a kind of office shop area here. And then there's whatever the heck's down here. And I'm betting Oppie, who claims she hasn't used this place in years, is probably down there. Um, also... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, what, what's that code that crops up in, like, arcane games every five minutes? Tempted to try that. What have we got here? Not what that is. Um, how's the battery looking? Let's do that and charge the car's battery a little bit. Take a while for that to charge up, I think. Well, we'll see if that was a disaster or not. Everything looks about good. Check my inventory. Look, oh, I am carrying piles of crap around. Okay, so that's why we do this. Um, thing I can eat inside More or less in it. That. We're probably okay there. Right. I see. <laughs> Mushroom Swiss burger with fries. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I may have errored here. Use the screen on this side of the dashboard to assign car abilities. Ooh, oh yeah. So. Um, handbrake. Okay, I see. Um, that is an indicator on the left as to where I want to go on shift, on control, or on space. Well, the handbrake's going on space for sure. Skid on demand. There we go. Cool. Let me find my way into town, though. <laughs> Sounds good. What do I have? Oh, yeah. Zotto for tea tonight. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've oh. got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. <laughs> Charming. Uh, right, need to head to Happy's place, which presumably is this. But heading to towns, heading to town. So 
the that point at the top, I think, is telling me that this is where I need to go for the remnant experiment. Which is my next mission. Which is a bit beyond where I was last time. Which is cool. Hmm. Mission set and ready to go. Suggesting I should put an extra 4% and repair on the car, but I think we'll be okay, probably. Ooh. Do you stubble with steering being flipped on cars and games? They're not generally flipped. Not in games. Right, it goes right. It left, it goes left. But others may have noticed a slightly the time on the wrong side of the car, and um, like all the stuff that's blocking my vision is on the wrong side, but otherwise. Right, find my way to town. Let's see how this goes. Like. The ignition, weirdly, is on the right side, but it's in the middle, which is deeply unnatural. Um, although it's more common these days. Gear, uh, gear sticks on the wrong side. Uh, that's my wipers. It's just basic and old school. And that's my lights, which is fine. Um, most other things are just weird anyway. Well, it's past where we were last time, and last time was left out of the garage, so... See what happens, I guess. So which one? Oh. There's the sun. Or something's over there. I mean, as in getting in on the driver's side on this side. Because uh, that does weird me out a little bit. Mirrors actually work, which is kind of handy. Oh, goodness, first car. <laughs> like somebody is thinking about thumbnails for future videos and streams and stuff. Well, streams. Uh, right. Okay, so... Apparently can't travel there for some reason. Looks like I have to travel here and then drive up, I guess. It won't let me click it. Would let me click any of this stuff. I guess we uh, see what happens. Hmm. Wish this was on the Xbox. I'm. I would guess it'll make its way there immediately. Immediately, eventually, but um, kind of surprised it isn't. I assume there is a reason. Okay. Right, um, so looking at the map, that looks like a destination, and there's more power down there and down there, so I guess we're going to push on and just see what happens, and it's raining, so... Favorite remnant was the record player. 
do remember Francis. You, know, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> this again. Uh, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were, uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. <laughs> a rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Took a couple of points of damage there. Am I going the right way here? I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Where's my car? Where's my life? Ah! I think I'm taking damage from the weather here, possibly the roads. I think I took damage from carrying that thing, actually. That might have been a whole thing. Let's up to my power a little bit. And there's another one further down the road. Woo. Potentially somewhere to go and get resources. Although... Hmm. Ah, no, my car is not under my control anymore. <laughs> not entirely, anyway. As a result of hitting whatever the heck that was. Here normally. I back up. See if I can't go around that. Going through it didn't seem to be a very clever idea. Driver, have you been fixating on the car? Maybe if only we knew where remnants came from, then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know they're creepy, crawly, and weird like visible manifestations. Remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Hmm. A little bit spanked there. Don't know if I'm going to eat plasma, but hey, it's uh, an opportunity to grab something. What have we got here? the road flares, but okay. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised to see it come to Game Pass either, going, eh. Did I name the car? I have not named the car yet, no. Now that you mention it, that is a good point. Wrong door. Okay, I need to grab the thingamajig. And carry on down the road, I think.
<laughs> Definitely a first world problem, guy, but yeah. I am of the opinion, personally, uh, that it feels better with a mouse and keyboard than it does with, um... Uh... Oh god, no, not you! Ah, stop trying to steal my car, you bastard! Bloody robots. Uh, yeah, I think it feels better with mouse and keyboard, you do. Than it does with, um... Oh, hell. Car, I think, took a little bit of zap damage, because that didn't look good. Yeah, feels better with mouse and keyboard than with a controller, based on my testing both uh, today. Oof. Getting a bit hairy back there. No, it's definitely not multiplayer, it's a single player game. Can vehicles be male? I'm not sure they can. Hmm. Yeah, I need some name suggestions. I don't know what feels right. Feels like a freaking booby trap, and I feel like I got better up. Oh fuck! Let's just go. Okay, I can stop and back up. That's interesting. Car part status. Okay, number of parts have taken damage. I'm going to do some repairs. Probably not right now. Big ass anomaly off to my left, apparently. Oh, uh, that was me hitting another anomaly. <laughs> yeah, when I hit anomalies and stuff like that, I immediately lose 90% of the control of the car. Well, 75% maybe. But it does make, like, playing on the road or anything rather difficult when steering doesn't do anything anymore. Um, no, I don't think that's doing me. Doing it for me there, guy. No. <laughs> I should have a female now. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with you on that one, I think, now. Oof, we made it through. Interesting. So, to get to a spot beyond another spot, I have to... Uh, <coughs> drive through... Uh, zone, or sort of um, zones along the way. That's interesting. Well, areas. You see them? Ah! It's kind of a bit loaded, spoilt, ruined, something to that effect, that name, I think. Well, my car's had a bit of a zappy zap. Let's push it on down the road a little bit. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Interesting. So there's a whole load of stuff. I think gateways, and those are things I, I could pick up to power things up. Cool. Um, my car at the moment, however, is looking less than optimal in its conditions. I'm going to need to get some repair putty out of here. And get some repair work on the go.
Oh, nah, I'm definitely leaning away from male names. It feels weird calling uh, car male names. It's like calling your dog Henry or something. Animals should not have human names either. It's just not right. It's fine. Eh, good luck with that. Yeah, I think we can get by on that. Just as well, because I'm almost out. I think I just hit myself in the face with the uh, the boot, though. Carl. <laughs> uh, an amusing idea, though. Yeah, I think I'll have the engine running. Okay, that wasn't a bribe me. Have the lights just in case. <laughs> the little uh, cleaning. Uh... What the fuck is that? And why am I seeing weird stuff going on on the screen down there? Uh, you, drive to the scenic overlook to get a view. That's presumably there. Okay. Right. Just a little bit further down the road, there should be. Access to at least one more chargey thing somewhere in the woods. There it is. Okay, that's it. Grabbing these things does seem to get me uh, a whole bunch of unwanted attention, though. As well as a little bit of damage. There's a game, blame me, alright? That's. <laughs> Fuck off. I have a mis like some kind of RPG to deal with those fuckers. So drag me off the road and screw me over when I grab uh, anchor charges. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Yep. Yep, I don't know what to do about those right now, so I'm going to leave that as is. Also, I'm not sure if it did me a little bit of harm or not, but I feel like it probably did. down the road, uh, I mean, there's another thing up here I could go looking for. It seems to be uh, very definition of a mixed blessing doing that. First of all, because I can't see the bloody thing. Oh wait, yeah, I see it. Oh man, this is probably deeply unwise. Leg it! There is car, there is car. Yeah, the longer I carry that thing, the more damage I seem to take. 
Right, let's the, let the pop off a little bit. It's very, very hard to see in the dark. Ah! I mean, I know this is a life-changing, earth-shattering revelation that it's hard to see in the dark, but, you know. Some around this corner is our destination, apparently. Not seeing anything. This looks like an overlook. Driver, a car. Are you sure about this? Well, ah, that'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. Well, I won't risk Carla works too. just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Yes, uh... Christine. Mm, yeah, that one kind of doesn't do it for me. Really need a head torch. Is there a head torch available in this game? Seen one yet? There's a car over here as well, or the remains of one. What exactly is happening? This car that we found is some kind of remnant object in a weird ass anomalous zone. They seem to have weird properties, amongst other things. Apparently there are all manner of things that have weird properties, but um, remnants tend to get into the brain of the people they decide to attach themselves to, decide, um, and then cause further issues, like uh, sending people a little bit crazy about the object that they're uh, fixated on or bonded with. In this case, it's our car, which um, is also the only vehicle in the zone and our lifeline, as much as it's uh, anything else, so. Oh, I turned the car off. Uh... Right, yeah, um. Oh, mate, I'm here. Get way too close. Too close, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I need to get down here and just continue following the road from the look of it. Right, okay. We're trying to find out more about this particular remnant um, by driving up close to another former remnant or something, anomaly thing, and making something very stupid happen. Seems to be the gist of what we're doing here. down to the crossroads uh need to go straight on across the crossroads past there's some buildings and stuff okay oh uh, 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 i nearly lost the road there remember i have a handbrake now i should probably take advantage of that a little bit 
Here's crossroads, I think. Yep, with buildings. Oh, hello. Well, what funny business is this? Worth trying to get a picture there of something, but I'm not sure at the moment. It's ostensibly in a lot of ways um, a survival crafting game, this one, but it seems to have uh, an unusual amount of story to it so far, which is cool. Focused on our car rather than base building. My car's getting a little bit uh, interesting over there, apparently. Got over here. Kingdom for a torch. A little bit of fuel here that I might be able to nab. It's a bathroom again, I think. I found this because I don't have a lot of med kits and. Uh, one of my few opportunities to acquire some. I don't think it's always this dark in the game, but it's certainly dark enough right now. Okay. I imagine you guys are not having a much easier time seeing what's going on in here than I am, but I can barely see anything. Because not only have I got, you know, the game being dark, I've got two really bright lights showing directly in my face as well. Which makes it really challenging. So I seem to need to go this way. To which I am asking myself the obvious question. What could possibly go wrong? Something like that a little bit better, maybe. Grabbing some screenshots, trying to make the best out of it, given that there's no photo mode or option to hide the HUD. I really hope that's the thing they'll add soon. This game would benefit from that. So I would benefit from starting the engine. I wish to go forward. But uh, that gate is concrete based there or not. Let's just check, yes it is. Okay, so I might be able to get through there if I get this angle right, but I'm gonna to have to be bloody careful. Made it. Okay. Big Dan's gas, eh? Up. 
No, Karen. No, I don't think we're going to do that. I wouldn't do that to uh, somebody I depend my my life depends on. speak to the manager. Right, so get the car close to the anomaly to test Oppie's theory. What could possibly go wrong? The fact that I feel like I'm driving into a freaking miniature glowing sea. And I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen here except we're testing a theory that this car might do something weird whilst I'm inside the car. Get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Ah, uh, thick. Try going around that way, apparently. These bloody off road tires is what I need here. Should be possible to get around here. Alright, okay, I could just about see what's going on. See what's going on on the map. Apparently, I can't make it up that ramp, though. Is this going to do it? Probably not. No, I don't think so. Still got to go around this way, I think. Oh, you've had gum. Seems like extremely bad decision making on somebody's point. He's the bigger fool. Oh, the fool who followed him. Going, and then I should be able to find my way around, apparently. Oh, she's not on the Xbox. Well, don't we all? enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. They want me to jump the car into that. That's what could go wrong, but I think we'll have less time. It'll take less time to explain what could go right. Chances of anything going well, basically zero. The floating around there. There seems to be an entrance over here, and even if I do find an entrance. They tricked us, did they now? Yum yeah. Even if I did find an entrance, I could get in here. 
it is pitch freaking down. I'm not rummaging around in there and I, I can't even see anything. We'll push on in the hope of finding... Okay. Tourist. In the hope of finding... Um, a torch or something. Or just, you know, daylight. Either of these things would be acceptable. I feel like I want, kind of want to break that, but at the same time I think I might need it for this place. Okay, so this is probably going to be government. Um, uh, it was a government drop of some kind, apparently, once. That's presumably what I need to use. Well, that, yeah, that's my thing. Well, a gap because it's held together by tape, yeah. We'll be getting upgrades, so that's the barriers lowered, I can now do the thing. Next question is, what's that? And also, what's this? Transmuter. Gear into canned food. Something. Okay, don't know what happened there, but I don't like the look of that, neither. Not sure what that does, think it might be a bit early for finding out. Um. to the anomaly. What could possibly go wrong? Keep saying. Uh, a gaffer is... Um, I don't know, a lighting person, I think? He rigs up the lighting at uh, on a film, sir. Leap of faith. Got a, an achievement for that. Oh! Well, I'm not dead. like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive and my plan worked cappy amplified the car signal and it matches looks like tobias and francis found their remnant after all unfortunately what they've been saying is true the remnants drive their victims mad maybe that car having sat dormant for this long will give you a little more time i'm sorry i don't have better news for you i'm still game to get you out of here the faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Still want to close this door. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Yeah, gaffer tape, duct tape. The only thing about duct tape is that um, gaffer tape, duct tape, it's actually pretty fucking awful for use on ducting. Any kind of ducts or that sort of thing. Um... Yeah. That's the whole thing. Right.
I was going to try and keep this tidy, but I don't think that's going to work very well. Best efforts and all that. Right. Still no upgrades here. So the next thing I do, I think, is repair up and um, push on out. So I'm going to need a whole bunch of repair putty primarily. That's me out of chemicals, other than that, so... Yes, ain't looking too hot right now. Duck take WD-40. Yeah, let's go forward. <laughs> Depends on whether or not you're in polite company, that one, Grey. doing for this stuff not particularly well how are my wheels doing let's make sure my wheels aren't about to fall off but the back's not great it's probably the thing i need to repair the most that panel on the bumper uh that panel's not doing well let's see if we can get both of these so it's me out of repair buddy and also it would seem out of the means to get any more Spare scrapper and a few useful bits of pieces. Yeah, it works for me because my current scrapper is well, it's on its way out. Uh, I can always craft more later. But both of these are on their way out, so I probably will have to craft more of those later. I should probably make a point of doing that. It's just crafting spare impact hammer in case I need one. I don't have gears, okay. Impact hammer can go in there. Otherwise, we're basically okay. I don't think I really need that many, but um, yeah. Cool. I don't think I'm going to make any more repair party, am I? Just I could just do with that. Uh, where's that? See if that in there, basically, it's all okay. I need to find chemicals, which I don't think I'm going to find. If I've got any, they'll be in here. No, I don't. Right. So we can run around outside. This car has mysteriously repaired itself. Isn't that funny how that happens? Pretty weird. Now it's out here, it looks like it might drop me the chemicals I need. Guess it's not, it's too bloody dark to tell anyway. Right. 
<laughs> exactly, Steve. Decal kits. Interesting. So, getting a uh, review copy of this game from Devs, which I was very, very kind of them, um, has meant I've got some extra stuff to find somewhere at some point, but I don't quite catch where that might be. I feel I might not be far enough along to actually have that yet. I think this thing is mostly turned off because it plays copyrighted music and uh, obviously I have streamer mode turned on. For safety reasons. Right. Activate the uh, driver's checklist at the status monitor. There we are. Tires in good condition, headlights in good condition. Uh, I mean, they're not in the best of conditions, but... Fine. Cars repaired, okay. It's fine. Right. Um, so, Spool Zone, chart new roads. What I'm really, really hoping for is if there's any kind of torch, which I'm just going to quickly Google because I want an answer to this because it's driving me a little bit batty right now. Um. Pacific Drive Flashlight, fine. That's the way you're going to make me do it. Fine. Um, <laughs> uh, fabrication station, apparently. Oh, use a flare. Okay, yeah, and that does that. Right, okay. Cool. I'm going to check that because brain was not getting very far. Basically, what it's telling me from that is my fabrication station here will somewhere have um, torches or flashlights or something as an option for something I can build. Uh, category. Lights. Might be good. Start with a crude flashlight. Okay. I'll get to that until I craft relightable flares. Um. Oh man. Survival tools. I know this is very confusing. It's going to require a while to get figured out. I don't know if it's trying to tell me this. Different men. Let's get our stuff. Uni. Fine. Survival tools. Party. Light replacement kit. Low torch. Electrician's kit. Well, that's way out. Scrapper. Hand back. High bar. Liberator. Anchor radar. Impact hammers. Um. Lights. There we go, okay. Now we have to craft lightable flares first. Require a bunch of stuff. Craft mat and scanning antenna. Fabric, so I can do that. That should open me up on the way to crafting a crude flashlight. 
Might be better than the flare option I currently have. Yeah, there's a blueprint. Okay. Interesting. Um, lights. So there we go. Crude flashlight. Bio flare. Bio gun. Bio lantern. Um, I'll have to go down a flare gun route to get to something a bit more advanced than that. But that require me to research a bulb. I don't know how I do that. I need to figure out the researching of a bulb first. And then it should be good. Okay, so... Car body, wheels, racks, storage. We'll want some more of that either. Utilities. Engines, garage. Refine, okay. Bulb. Uh, okay, can do that. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Back to lights. Now I have everything I need to... Uh, I don't have enough energy to research anymore. Okay, so more runs required before I can do that. However, brain was off. Brain is now on. <laughs> when it comes to the point of all these bloody road flares. Now, if I... Uh, I guess I'm going to chuck those over there. And... Yeah. Sign them there. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to sign it there. I'm going to assign that there. That works for me. Cool. Right. Now we need to figure out where we're going to go next. What are we doing for time? Half ten. Mm, well, we might get one run out. Before we wrap things up for the day. So... Don't know much about this. There's a whole load of stats over here, some of which are hidden by me, which are uh, not massively helpful. So that's extreme conditions because I just left it. So we probably shouldn't go that way. What's down here? That one, so this one over here is apparently safe. Um, I don't know which I could mouse over the stuff on the right there to understand the information it's telling me a bit more. Um, it's all forested, apparently, so there's probably not much to choose between them, so... it would be dark that way. Apparently. Um, I am, for want of a better idea, let's hit this one as a destination, because there doesn't seem to be much to choose. Angry abductors. Okay, maybe I should have had a look before I did that. Okay, so we gotta watch out for angry abductors. Okay, well, we'll see how we do. Uh, did I charge the car? I think I, I thought I did. I should check the battery before I leave. If I can, the windscreen's not doing great. Not, neither front nor back. I didn't realise I could repair those. I don't see much about the batteries. There's the battery, it's sitting at 50% apparently. Just go and uh, throw the switch. Gotta work on my aim a little bit to end up actually properly on that thing. Uh, I feel like there's probably max battery capacity right now. <laughs> ah, okay. Out the door, turn left. As always.
on we go. Straight up exploration job this time, so we'll see how we do. I think my car pipe picked up a quirk. I'll be beginning to pick up a quirk. Oh no, choice! <laughs> Got to put the parking brake on. Well, put, I forgot to put the car in park, I should say. Doesn't seem to be particularly well illuminated from that side, but, uh. Yeah. I'm not gonna get a decent picture there anyway. Not from there. We can make some adjustments. We live and we learn. That still did not help me, and I feel like it probably should have done. Um, oh. Smart car upgrade. <laughs> I'm not sure those are upgrades on any level at all, but... Uh... What can you do? Hmm. Junction G8, back roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. Angry abductors to watch out for. So, I need power, which is going to involve a bit of a loop. There's a whole load of stuff out here, so... Head down the road and see what we find. Should be something on my left before long. No, right. Do you hope we can get some daylight before long? Because this is going to be very challenging to play if uh, it's going to stay dark. I want to go out there for that, but I get the feeling that weather is going to be problematic. I right know. Apparently not. Just a bit nasty. Holy moly! Holy moly! You kidding me right now? Fuck! Oh, you saw it too, did you? Tell me you saw it too. What? Like the ones from 1961. It happened again. Just a quick blip. Like blinking your... Wait. You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. A colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right. Because sending the driver head first into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event, but it only lasted three seconds this time. And then not only that, huh. we picked up that its source was northwest of us, specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. So there's something it's out there. 40 years. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, interesting. Right. It's going to be a lot as cool as Kai had with the uh, Ryan Robin, yeah. What? Her stop, huh?
weird signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, a lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants was the key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <laughs> I... I need to go. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do. I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination of Henry. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. So, uh, to the junction, right. turn right. Watch yourself. Ah, okay, so some kind of mass hallucination event, which we don't know um, very much about. Which seems to be in some way connected to the remnant, by the car. And they think that by putting the two together, they'll nullify the car's connection to me, meaning I won't go crazy and run off into the anomalous zone with nothing but the car for company. Maybe. Seems to be the gist of it. It would be funny watching me drive a Ryan Robin for about 30 seconds until all hell broke loose and it ended very, very poorly. I suspect. Uh, I do not have enough impact hammers for this business that I'm about to engage on. No, wrong way. That one comes out, not that one in. Back right on, and now I don't get zapped too much. Just a little bit. Problem with turning all the lights off on the car is it becomes very, very difficult to find it, your way back to it at night. Yep, seems about right. Right. <laughs> yeah, it might start fires. That's not really a good idea. Hey. That's a repair thing. These are some kind of antenna type things. I mean... Let's find out, shall we? Chemicals are the big thing I need, feel I need in reasonably urgent way at the moment. Supposedly, there's something up there, but I can't see it, so... I guess we're going to have to try and turn around. Otherwise we're going to end up at a dead end. Means the next thing on the road would probably be. I don't think I'm going to get all the way up there to that either. But yeah. There's something out here, supposedly.
You sure that's not going to help me any? No. Seems strange that the route map would only have this on it. It wouldn't have a local map unless I'm in my car, but okay. Ah, there we are. There's the thing. Difficult to spot anything. This better be worth it after all that. Well, there's not got a lot of juice left in it. Chemicals. Fortunately, I don't seem to have too much trouble with setting stuff on fire right now. Yeah, what's for useful crafting? Oh, hello, what's that? A transmitter, okay. Sure, that's the way back to the road. I could do with the compass as well. The flare going out. Back to the road. There's my car. Yeah, that went all right. Kinda, I think. And I got some chemicals and stuff that I needed, and definitely need a lot more. Next destination is follow the road down. I'm not going to be able to get up there without a great deal of inconvenience. I don't think so. I think what we'll do is head down this way. So we hit a bridge. It looks like it's a big loop the loop around. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Um, so yeah, I think we just work our way down the road now, don't we? See how we do. Cars more or less holding together from the look of it. Right, back to the junction. Where we have to be a little bit careful. Those guys could be a problem here. I don't want to see whether or not it's worth... Uh... Scrap anything out of this right now. Semi worthwhile. That'd be the end of my wrapper. Did I have a spare? I do. Always come prepared. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do anyway. That was a scary noise right next to my car. I do feel like the scrapper could be maybe just a little bit smaller and it wouldn't suffer for it. You know, I don't think that would be a bad thing. Right, 
Nice. Let's F off before this guy comes. Well, he is coming after this. Let's just keep F out. It's a bit foggy out. Oh, shit. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't think I want to jump. I don't know, maybe I do. I feel like it might be fun, but uh, I also feel like it might be a very bad call. Looks like it's set up there because it'd be fun. On the other hand, I could also see the devs setting it up there to just, like, catch you out a little bit. It's a tendency for the mouse to kind of creep down a bit. One thing, um, I think the controller was doing the same thing. I don't know if it's, like, just because I keep kind of trying to look at stuff that's down there and forget to push it all the way back up again, but... One slight issue. It, there was a, a something about it just having a tendency to kind of recenter itself automatically, which I don't know if I feel good about that idea or not, to be honest. You buzz off over there, I'm gonna keep going. Not fast enough. Tried to back up from that, failed. Got zapped, car took a chunk of damage. Oh no. Fuck off. That's that. <laughs> Got his electromagnet on the front end of a car and tugged it right off the road there. Coming down towards the bridge, as I suspect, we're going over the bridge and leaping round, and then the road will go under it again later. My theory, and it looks like my theory is about Bourbon. Be clear of that anomaly there. Let's not do anything too unwise on the bridge. I don't think it's going to collapse under me, but... I don't know. Who knows? This might, if I'm careful and keep an eye out, be an opportunity... Oh, fuck off the road the other direction. No. Ah, he's after me. Now, oh, those guys, man. Um, that window's fucked. Something doesn't sound good. I think they've all made tires intact, but so it sounds like it might have a flat. So I'd like to get clear of that guy and see if there's anything I can do about that. There is definitely a symbol there that I do not understand. Loose and flat. Okay. So, two loose wheels and a flat. So I need... Got a ceiling kit, so I can do something there. Don't have a mechanics kit, nor any means of getting one right now, so I'm kind of a bit knackered on that, but at least I can deal with me flatty. There we go. Now it's just going to be wobbly as all shit. However, that's my only ceiling kit, so... And I have to research, I think, how to craft a mechanics kit, or find them. 
at some point. Right now, there's a core that we're going to need to grab to power up to get out of here on the left there. And then a whole load of buildings further down, so... We know what we're up to. This looks potentially problematic. I know. Very rude. We were warned about the uh, angry abductors, but... Still. Looks to me. I'm going to leave that on. Just make it a bit easier to find the car. And because this thing is unhealthy, leave the door open because it's Tiny little bit less time it's going to take me. Hmm. Um, well, that's why I couldn't see it. There was a rocking eye. Yeah, tiny little bit less time it'll take me to uh, this thing in the car. Doesn't provide a great deal of illumination, this. Right. That doesn't sound good. Let's leave quickly. That sounds like an angry abductor again. With a big growly engine on it. Right. Uh, somewhere further down here, there should be a structure on my left, I think. Yes. Oh shit, son. We're going to need a sunroof. What's that? What's an internal light? Oh, that's really cool. If, I mean, you know, it's kind of an obvious feature. Cars have them. Oh, shit. Yeah, so... Fuck off and leave me alone now, you booger. Uh, right, interesting hut of some kind. Hey, up. I don't know what I was expecting, but this wasn't it. I've seen fuel barrels, and I feel like I want to kind of take them or something. Fuel can. I can fill a fuel can up from it. Okay. So here's a plan. Get that out. We top her up a bit. You're not allowed to try and steal my freaking car again, are you? Yes, you are. Please don't try and steal my car again. That's a fucking disturbing noise. Oh, 
can't get away with that. Right. So we filled up, I think. Yep. Now we're going to bomb back over here. There it is. Top that up a bit. Nice. Right. Onward to the next building, which should not be very far at all. Fuel can. Let's look at it with a naked flame. Yeah, I was thinking something fairly similar now. This is, um, I should be careful here and make sure I don't blow myself to smithereens. Spooky house in the woods, alone at night when it's looking as spooky AF. And this. That doesn't seem like a problem at all. No problem here. No idea what any of that noise meant. We'll, uh, well, we'll hope it didn't mean anything. Who keeps clothes in a random... in the woods? So what the hell's that? Don't know. But it looks alarming. There was a hole in the ground there, and I was going to. There's a back door there. Let's go in this door. Let's see whether that looks like another entrance to the same space it does. I wasn't going to trouble to waste a flare, but. Hmm. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. New spiders are reliant robin near yeah. there's something there gateway that's too close okay and uh, we'll continue it around and then there'll be buildings either side of the road cool that's a car i could stop and salvage the crap out of there the bonnet. Well, as I say, yeah. Nothing to find underneath it. Wait, wait, there's a thing somewhere that glowed. Oh, the fuel tank, okay. Was well, the not what I was hoping for. I'm not in drive. Also, not far from where I need to be. Well, my next stop, anyway. Hmm. There's a thing on the right, which means I'm halfway between two things. It's about where I want it to be.
There's a thing over here somewhere. There it is. And there's a thing on the other side. No power. That's not scary at all. <laughs> it is decidedly creepy out here. Duct tape, metal and rubber. More crafting mats. Lots more crafting materials. I mean, all of this is good to have. It's not actually what I generally want. Limb energy. I think we're going to be finding out a lot more about limb energy in time. And it's locked, okay. Fix, pry bar. I thought I'd call that a fix, exactly. But, uh... Anyway. Good though, I did need that stuff. But that's cool. Let's look around here and hope I don't get any more bother. There's supposed to be something on the other side, though it looks like that's probably it. Thinking at me in the dark, that couldn't be a bad sign at all, could it? it hasn't been safe for our place, so. It's not a game with combat in it, so I don't need to worry about anything jumping out at me. Probably. Hmm. Nothing bad ever happened here, did it? Curious why up his garage is a safe place when everywhere else seems to be decidedly not so safe. I'm guessing the answer to that question will uh, appear at some point. Great, big green lights swirling around where I left my car. Oh, I knew where I left my car. Lots of rads. Let's get in the car and then I shield myself from said rad. I normally use some stuff in the car, taking a little bit of damage, apparently. Don't push on, then. Flying rocks, that's fine, right? Look at all the damage warnings flashing in the bottom right there. Yep, my car is up the shit, I can tell. That's why I'm trying to get further away. I'd like to repair... Oh, feck. Yes, my car is really up the shit. Good news is, there is no good news. Um, oh shit. Uh, uh, yeah, let's use that for now. My health is not looking great. Don't think I'm going to be able to get very far. Right now, because I don't think I have any functional wheels. Oh dear. Well, this guy's giving me a tow. Not where I want to be, but... Oh, 
Well, shit. Lots of way past where I wanted to be. Right. So, good news, bad news situation. Good news is I'm not dead. Bad news is I'm not very far away from being dead. Okay, I didn't seem to want to use then for some reason. Okay. Um, now then, let's get to crafting, because I'm going to need more than anything else. Um, repair party, let's craft a bit of that. Right, I've got what I've got there, which ain't much, so... That's not completely busted. That's not completely busted. Uh, I seem to be missing a wheel altogether there. Problematic. Okay. Um. Yes. There's a significant proportion of my problems. That and the rest of my car's fucked up, but you know. A lot of bad things going on. Top of the list, I, I need a wheel. Spare tyre. Good. Right, um, what's going on? I'm stuck. In something. A tree, apparently. Somehow I got stuck in a tree. Okay, well that's the way it goes, isn't it? But the good news is... I got four wheels again. That one, I believe, is also flat again, so let's see if I can't, um... Uh, I can go and heal up right now. I'm gonna need to craft... Uh, ooh, I can craft mechanics kit now. Wonderful, that's good news. I can't craft ceiling kits because I don't have enough rubber. Shite. Well, I'll worry about all of that shit later, and now I've got four wheels. <laughs> let's get out of here! Oh, crap. Still got no lights. I got four wheels, so. Rads are still up high because, of course, they are. So that's that piece of good news sorted. The next exciting piece of news, I've got to go back up the road and try and get that, um, uh, what's it called, anchor, so that I can power my machine to get me the hell out of here. And these guys are hanging around right where I need to be, which is worrying. So that's the good news is we made it back almost. It's about here. Yeah, cool. Radiation is slowly killing me because my car is completely fucked. And I'm not in a position to do anything about it. So that's what that noise means. There's a storm coming. Okay. I mean, informing me of it, it's not much use right now because I've still got to do what I got to do. But um, show you that. <laughs> None of that went according to plan.
<laughs> this is not going well. On the right side, I should be able to get out of here soon, though. If I can stay alive long enough. So, yeah, there's a thing there. There's more power here. There's an anomaly there that I'm too close to. So I think it's time for me to get the F out of there, really. On account of that storm. And the zone seems to be destabilising enough, so... Oh, shit. Nah, fuck, this is not good timing. I'm going to die. I think. This looks a lot like I'm going to die. I can't see anything. <laughs> My vision's clouding. I think I'm on the road and going the right direction, but I can't really tell. I'm about to lit. Like, yeah, the zone is completely collapsed and I think I'm dead. <laughs> So that was interesting. Travelling. You have reached your destination. Your greeting party is a man out front wearing not very much with horns and a pitchfork. I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Need to? <laughs> it's not even a car anymore. It's got three freaking wheels. To fix up that One of them's flat. Still in the mood to allow it. No bonnet. There's a test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. There's a test track out here? Okay, a whole bunch of stuff just opened up. I need to heal. Friendly dumpster yet. It's behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Alright, so I'm no longer dying. That's a winner. Um hmm, weird. Uh yeah, I've got three wheels. One of them's flat. I'm missing one two doors. A bonnet. Um, a whole lot of other bits and pieces. Long story short, I think my car's fucked. To be honest, I'm not even sure I know where to start with this. Right, I believe I have a tyre in here, don't I? No, I think I might have moved it in here. Um, okay, so there's a summer tire there. It's a bit busted, but we can maybe possibly fix that. Okay, so I've got four wheels. Two of them are flat, but I've got four wheels. Suspect was found with an unlicensed Scottish letter in the trunk. <laughs> Trying to get the F out of here. Okay, car is in right spot now. Most of it. What's left of it? Um. For sale, £100, one careful owner needs attention, good project. Definitely a project. Oh, I've lost another door. There we go. Um, right. 
Yeah, there we go. I thought it was much. Most of the stuff in the back has gone. I rather thought it might. I lost most of my materials for my trouble there. Maybe this was going to be a good idea. Holy crap! I think that's what it was telling me. I'm, if you visited the dumpster, sometimes it gives as much as it takes away. Yeah. Ah. I mean, I think if I had lots of fancy um, parts um, and I'd lost them, that might feel like I was getting a bit of a, a bum kneel there, but I think that's, you know, it just spits out a load of replacement parts, some of which we're going to need some serious repairs. Gives you a chance to uh, salvage something, apparently. Was definitely an interesting. Uh, no, no worse than if you'd left it in the street in Liverpool. Yeah, that's probably. that then ah it comes to the panel that's cool okay supposed to a door well could have been either really you know um am i missing any particular bits i mean there's a lot of broken bits but am i missing any bits front bumper i think yeah uh it's our front end really um don't mind the repair party I can realize the new I was gonna need that also the Nelson needed there rude headlight whoo I haven't got any other big gaps apart from the bumper, which I should be able to fix in time. Cool. Right. Next trick. I know that's technically a crafted item, but anyway. I didn't get any stuff for my trouble, I think is really what it was trying to tell me there. Weather's picking up, isn't it? In the grand scheme of things, that didn't go very well, but I learned things. Um, primarily that um, staying out too long is a bad idea. You need to keep an eye on storms and things. I mean, this is a storm coming, you need to be ready to make an exit. So moving a bit quicker than I did might be a play. Uh, okay. What's this? Tinker station. Ah, I see. So this is when I have um, weird traits on the car. 
when I do A, B happens or something like that. We, so, for example, an ability, so what, not seems the problem, an ability, um, so if I went and say a hood, it's opened, so when whatever, okay. So I need... Shift to headlight set on. Yeah. One thing do happening activates another thing happening is what it's basically trying to tell me. It'll let me sort that out. Um, in theory. Is it going to spit anything out for me? A door. And a road player. Don't mind the road player. I don't think the door is particularly useful right now. That one's nearly completely busted. That one's nearly completely busted. It's a steel door. This one's definitely in better condition than the last one. I'll put it back on there. Good. Right. So I need mechanic kit, um, seaming kit, and some, probably some more repair putty. Uh, I do not have the chemicals for a repair putty. That's not ideal. Um, seaming kit. Mechanics kits. Let's not make all of these. Definitely need, I think, two of these. Uh, I need one of those as well. All right. Looking Porsche headlights. <laughs> oh dear. Stranger things would not. I mean, yeah. I feel like that should surprise me more than it does. Uh, ceiling kit, right. Never underestimate the ingenuity of a criminal, I guess. Fix me flats. Cool. Next up, that's my mechanic skip, which should fix. I made two of these, I only need one. This being wonky. Nice. Cool. Now. Go in for now. I do not have much of anything as I would like right now. It was costly dying like that. Uh, we learned some stuff, but it was definitely costly. Also, I got two workbenches I have. Cool. I feel like this game could be fun in um, co op, but I also feel like it could be horrific. With only one car between two of you, I think there'd be problems. But, a, yeah, you know, if they make a sequel to it, a co-op version where, you know, something goes badly wrong enough, you might have to abandon your car, get the hell out of there, and, uh... I... Both of you pile into the second car, like, you know, somebody who's abandoned their car drives into the passenger seat of their friend's car, and, uh, from there, go back and then plan recovery or something in the event of an emergency. I don't know. Anyway, um, I need to repair this bloody car somehow, and I can't make repair putty, which is problematic. The obvious thing to do would be... Hmm. Now it can come off.
I'm going to look for anything that is particularly... I mean, there's a lot of this that is really beaten up. Good craft replacement, I think. Let's try this, see what happens. Mind of any. Spare now. Should have, mm. do I? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Um, cool. Right. Um, yeah. Let's do what I've got over here because this one was almost beaten to hell. And those, those, both of those are trash. I might be able to find um, a door and a panel. I think I had a at least one of those stuck in here, didn't I? Bumper and a power, I've got bumper and a panel, so that's not the end of the world. I can put this panel on. And it's a bit fucked, but it's not as bad as the one I had. I'm still fucked. Um I'm gonna need to craft another crude door, aren't I? I could probably craft a whole bunch of these. It might be even better than my current options, really. Uh, crude door, yeah. Put that door off somewhere, didn't I? Yep, okay, let's, um... Uh... Sure what I did, I could possibly just shove my car a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think I just kicked it to move it slightly sideways. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, right. I just you to get me nothing because... Of, uh, almost nothing. It's not quite nothing. But, you know, some of that's actually vaguely useful. Um, I need to make sure I've got a spare scrapper in the back here, probably. Um... Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble, aren't I? I would think. Right, let's work out what repair putty I've got. Figure out what the most damaged parts of the car are right now. Her putty won't help me with the windshield. Okay, so I know I can... Uh... All right, we'll have to go out and do something about that. Figure out how to do something about that, I think. Left someone there. All right. I'm not going to get this put to 100%, but when I'm ready, I'll be able to make a run out and hopefully harvest up a bunch of stuff and not make the same mistake if I'm lucky. Well, I've got enough. About like three more dollops of repair putty at the moment. Uh, is there anything here that looks like it might be worth chucking one on? Really? Now I'll leave it at that for now. Right. So. <laughs> I 
lights in good condition, one of two. Uh, fill tank, repair, and charge batteries. Okay. Probably have a go at using that myself. Oh, something wrong with this. Need an electrician's kit because it's shorted. Okay, I could probably do that. Maybe. Uh, ceiling kit mechanics. I don't know how to craft um, an electrician's kit, which is not ideal. Relightable flare I can craft. Oh, that will be handy. Um, might crack one of those. We'll see what goes on with that. Um, next, I need um, a crude light, really. If I can. Requires road flares, which I don't have enough of. Apparently. Interesting. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. What was the other thing I just crafted? Oh, yeah. Relightable flare, didn't I? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. We are going to have to make runs of that. But right now, let's uh, go back to... Uh, serum and unlock blueprints. Okay, so if you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Serum. But don't worry, I won't make you jump okay. into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Serum. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. So that'll be the next thing we need to do. We also need to explore some of these other areas. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Still want to know more about this mass hallucination. Um, unlock blueprints. There's so much I need to unlock. But uh, right now, what I'm primarily in need of to do that is a lot more power and energy. And a whole bunch more resources before I can do any of that stuff. What's, what have I still got in here? Uh, okay. Nothing particularly exciting. Vargas Autovac. What's the point of inventing all these new technologies if you can't spruce things up a little? Here's to a tidier future. Okay. I see. When there's crap all over the place, I can use that to pick it up and get one of these. Interesting. Checking it in the trash seemed like a good idea. Okay, it's okay. Thought it might be a problem. More than a three dollar problem. <laughs> you need a new plastic surgeon. Um, right, so I need to fuel up. Make sure this thing's not right, about to run out of fuel. No, I don't think it ever does, but yeah, you know. Uh, throw the switch. Charge the batteries a bit. Uh, windscreen. Do I know how to repair the windscreen? Doors, panels, bumpers, tires. Nope, I don't think I do, do I? No. Doesn't look like it, so it doesn't look like my car's gonna get any better. We've got a couple of things we need to do up there. Unlock blueprints and then the next mission to push out on. But first I'm going to need to go and get a whole load more stuff. Crafting materials. In particular, things like chemicals, if I can get them. Um, yeah.
Those are the big things we need. Chemicals. Okay, on a number of other areas. Screwed something up here, I didn't mean to. There we go, sort of. Right, it's weird that it leaves, lets you put things in odd places. Yeah, the big thing's going to be the chemicals, I think. Um, repair putty and then moving on to other things. Chemicals, yeah. Impact term, uh, gas cylinders. I'm going to need some of the gears. That's not a massive priority. I'll find those in time. Uh, road flares, steel sheets. Yeah, I need materials. And then we'll see how we do after that. Anyway, folks. A series of unfortunate events later, and it is getting quite late, despite our early start. So, I think... Um, I'm going to hit that. It does also save, but you also need to manual save, which is worth noting in this game. And there's a save and quit button, I didn't realise that, okay. Nice. So. That was a whole thing. Interesting. Definitely favouring um, mouse and keyboard over controller. I thought with it being driving and stuff, I might like the controller a bit more. Ooh, excuse me. But it's just a little um, slice and refine. Should about do it for one evening. Yep, yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. It's, um, there's a lot to learn in this. It's uh, definitely a head scratcher. It's different. Uh, it's pretty much what I was expecting. Different vibe, focused on the car. There's a lot of stuff in terms of the blueprints and stuff to get out, which I thought you might find more out and about, but research apparently is the way. So we'll have to see about that. Um, Depending on how research and stuff is approached and sort of the need to what you get from going out on runs, there might be some stuff in how that's organised and stuff that I'm not completely... You know, I think there might have been a bit of room for improvement on, but I'm not sure yet because we haven't got far enough down that particular rabbit hole to find now. Um, yeah, so far, fun. Definitely enjoyed exploring that one. Enjoyed it as well, Steve. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, working on a building shrouded, as I said yesterday repeatedly, at the moment I am nearly there with it, but um, yeah, I'm trying to decorate large spaces and figuring that out in shrouded is challenging at the moment. Making progress, but definitely some stuff still to figure out. So that video is definitely not going to be up tomorrow. So what I think we might do is probably play some more of this tomorrow. Probably. Because I'm enjoying it. So probably more Pacific Drive tomorrow. Um, we'll tackle some Enshrouded on Friday either way, I think. And we'll see where we go from there. We'll pick things up and roll a new week from Monday. Yeah, um, I was hoping to be a bit further along with this build I'm working on, because, you know, um, I could do with having a video out by now, but since the last one was Saturday. But uh, things take time, and then time disappears, doesn't it? So it is what it is. Anyway, that's where we're currently at. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. So I think we'll dive back into Pacific Drive tomorrow. Thank you once again to um, Ironwood Studios for the review key. I really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, enjoying playing the game so far. So looking forward to some more. Uh, if you guys want to support it, it's up on Steam and PlayStation. And if you want to try it out that way, that's um, the way to pursue that. And, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we do. Should be cool. Need to have a look at the roadmaps. Yeah, I definitely do. And uh, updates and things for sure, Gray. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, as always, if you want to catch this sort of um, subsequent episodes in this one, um, first one is available on the live page and I'll leave listed. Um, subsequent parts will be unlisted and available via a playlist. Playlist is already set up um, as of time of recording. Obviously, this is still part one. So. But uh, going on from tomorrow, there will be a playlist available with more than one part in it. So, yeah, if you want to check that out, that's where to find that. Same thing goes for every other game. Uh, first video, is, first stream is available on the live page. Subsequent ones on the play on playlists 
Uh, loads of playlists, loads of stuff you can sort of rummage around on the front page of uh, the YouTube channel as well. There's loads of different sections. So if there's something you're interested in and you're looking for, have a rummage. It might be there. Um, and yeah, very, very cool. So, for now, thank you all for hanging out. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, I, yeah, seems cool. It's basically coming out more or less where I expected it to, and I'm enjoying it. It's very cool. Um, yeah, we'll dive back into this. Don't know if we'll start early tomorrow or not. We'll see how I feel. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely jump back into it tomorrow. So, uh, you guys know where all the buttons and stuff are. If you want to, like, subs, social media links, merch store, all that stuff down below, if you'd like to check it out. Um, channel memberships on that blue join button. And, yeah, uh, notification bell, etc. And, yeah, we'll dive back into this tomorrow. So, yeah, thank you for hanging out. Have a good rest of your evening. Have a good day tomorrow. And I'll catch you around about 8 o'clock-ish, probably. Maybe a little bit earlier. We'll see. Um, tomorrow. So, till then. Have a good evening. <laughs> I'll see you next time. All right, folks. Actually, ended this without a disaster this time. Wee! <laughs> Sorry about last night, by the way. Um, somehow managed to uh, have the end stream thing button highlighted so that when I clipped my space bar, um, it just shut everything off, which don't know why I accidentally defaulted onto that, but it did. Anyway, we've already done that tonight. So, have a good one. I'll catch you all tomorrow. <laughs> see you next time, folks.